okay guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to fetch the data by id in a text box so guys i have created one students table where inside that i have few records over here so guys let's fetch this records by its id so let's get started with this let's move to our editor so guys i'm using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface and now let's begin with designing it so let's create a row and column md7 let's make it to 8 and then column md4 and inside this i want a input type dot form control here name is equal to which will be student id and in this form we are going to use button search the button type will be submit and let's design this button 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 primary save and let's see the output so you can see guys one input with the search button so we, if we click on this the data good should search with that so guys now let's begin with it so let's create a form tag form control x and end the form over here let's give the method method is equal to get and if we click this button that time this student id will be called let's come over here refresh let's give one search you can see the id number one is sent over here let me click where the four data has gone so let's fetch this data into this input box if it is searched means so let's call that it's very simple use the value where open php and close php type if condition with the is set function you are going to check that the parameter of student id is passed or not so let us copy this parameter student id open curly and curly braces and let's echo this your student id parameter give semicolon save and let's refresh you can see that output so guys now let us give two you can see two and over here also two so now let's fetch the data according to this id let's start let's create one simple row not this will come out of this form so this is my form let's come out let's create one simple row inside this column md12 and over here form group input dot form hyphen control to create the input box let's give the value is equal to null right now we are going to fetch all the details of your student let's give it label where student name will be let's copy this and paste again class and the phone number so let's replace that class phone number done so these details are nothing but the database column names where you can see student class and student phone so this is my table called student so we are going to fetch this data let's get back and now guys let's type the code to fetch the data so before fetching i want to show you the output of this refresh you can see that output let's get back let's give one horizontal row and let's type the code so open php and close php where first database connection will be given so dollar con where mysql i underscore connect function and localhost where you are going to type root and the password is null and my database name is php tutorials so let's copy and paste and let's type the query dollar query and to fetch the record select star from my table name student let's copy that and 
paste where id is equal to inside this single quote you have to pass the id so before passing any id over here you need to check that from where you are getting that id so let's choose if condition to check that parameter is set or not so what parameter you are going to check is nothing but your student id so let's call this student id and check over here so you can check with the is set function dollar underscore get method where you are going to send this if it is set then you are coming inside this so let's give dollar student underscore id and get that id from this parameter called student id paste now your student id is stored over here and let's rest run this query inside this if condition now you have to fetch this if it is set your student id will fetch and now let's run this above query copy paste underscore run is equal to mysqli underscore query function so this function will run your statement with the help of database connection so first call the connection of your database and then the statement let's paste and now guys let us check if the record exists or not into this table use mysqli number of rows function if it is greater than zero then only display the record else you can echo no record found done so if the record is found use for each loop to print that record so let's find if the record exists as dollar row so this row will help you to find that your column name inside this so row of your column name is nothing but the student underscore name std underscore name underscore name let's save and refresh and check that refresh you can get om prakash with the id number two over here you can see id number two that is om prakash data so guys now let us fetch this detail into a text box get back let's comment this and divide this so php close and php open now let us just control x and paste over here let's call this student name let's remove inside this value we have to fetch php open php is equal to where close php and this is equal to is a shortcut method to echo the data so let's use this copy and paste again paste again and change the column name as class and phone save and let's check the output you can see that the data has fetched in a text box so let's check with the id number five search you can get this id number one search you can get that with prakash data so this is how we search if you give non-existing record so let us see over here you can see that it's total eight records is there we searched with eight you can got that okay man so now let us search with the ninth record where it is not existing let's see no record found you are getting that so guys this is how we do that how to fetch the id in text box using php so guys in this video that's it and thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share